The Navy first used acoustics to measure the ocean depths in the 1930s, and at the time, the area they thought to be the bottom of the sea would change throughout the day. But it turns out the sea bottom was actually a layer of animals that travel in mass and they moved thousands of feet below the water's surface throughout the day and night. So they call it the Ocean Twilight Zone, and it's chock full of insane marine life. Squidworm This four-inch annelid was only recently discovered in the Coral Triangle between Indonesia and the Philippines. It gets its name on account of the ten tentacle-like appendages on its head, which it uses to collect floating food particles. Rhizophyza Like the squidworm, the rhizophyza measures out at only four inches in length. Unlike the squidworm, the rhizophyza is a predatory creature whose tentacles can extend several feet in search of prey. It's actually similar to the Portuguese man-o-war, a venomous hydrozoan with a painful and powerful sting. Deep Water Squid At first glance, one might look at the deep water squid and think, this little guy is adorable. At only 6 inches, it's hard to think otherwise. But this deep sea creature is still a predator, and it uses both bioluminescence and color-changing spots to catch its prey. Hatchetfish The hatchetfish is unique in its use of its bioluminescent photophores. Rather than lighting up to catch prey, the hatchetfish uses counter-illumination to escape predators. It can match the level of light coming from the water's surface, so to predatory creatures below, it doesn't look like anything at all. Anglerfish Its appearance alone is enough to give anyone nightmares, but the most frightening thing about the anglerfish, which dwells between the bottom of the twilight zone and the sea floor, is its parabiotic reproductive process. Just look up sexual symbiosis and you may never sleep again. Viperfish Like an underwater flashlight, the viperfish uses bioluminescent photophores along its body to attract its prey, which is cool, but not as cool as its teeth, which are technically too big for its body, but happen to be able to curve around the back of its head. Barbled Dragonfish the barbled dragonfish is in the same aquatic family as the viperfish, and like the viperfish, it only grows to be about 32 centimeters long. It has those large, curved teeth, but it comes with the added bonus of a long, glowing barbel that hangs from its chin. Lanternfish Lanternfish are some of the smaller creatures found in the twilight zone, with most topping out at about 15 centimeters, but they make up about 65% of the entire deep-sea biomass. They're big on travel, too, moving from the deep bathypelagic zone, 980 to 4,920 feet, up to the epipelagic zone, 33 to 328 feet, throughout the day. Glass Squid Unlike other squid species, the glass squid is actually transparent, a trait it uses to its advantage, camouflaging itself from potential predators. They have short tentacles, which they can pull into their spiky, ink-filled bodies to avoid attack. Fangtooth fish. With a name that literally means unarmed stomach, the fangtooth belongs to a family of fish who look way more intimidating than they actually are. The larger of the species is only 16 centimeters long, but their teeth are the largest in the ocean compared to their body size. Comb jellyfish. Comb jellies are a group of tenophoras that vary widely in shape and size, but all move via cilia, tiny hair-like structures that push them forward through the water. They're the largest animals to utilize cilia, and they're also the most beautiful. As light refracts off of them, they create rainbows. Salp Remember those pearl water wiggly toys from the 90s that were impossible to hold on to because of their weird, squishy makeup? Salps are the deep-sea version of those, propelling themselves by sucking water through one end and pushing it out the other. Atolla Jellyfish While the Atolla jellyfish manages to remain fairly invisible to underwater predators on account of its red hue most deep-sea creatures see in blue, it certainly can't hide itself when it's attacking prey. It sets off flashing circles of blue bioluminescence when it actually comes into contact. Giant Squid for centuries, the giant squid was nothing more than a character in an epic seafaring tale. 
Then in 2006, one was actually documented, and it had eyes nearly a foot wide and weighed over 400 pounds. Vampire Squid You wouldn't think it, but the vampire squid isn't actually all that terrifying. It doesn't feed on blood, it has no ridiculous set of fangs, it can't even ink. In fact, when a vampire squid is disturbed, it'll just crawl inside of itself and emit some bioluminescent mucus instead. Frilled Shark If you were to cross a shark with an eel and then also an anaconda, the resulting abomination would be a frilled shark. Reaching up to 6.6 .6 feet in length, it's often considered a living fossil on account of its primitive features, like its 25 rows of over 300 individual teeth, for example. Goblin Shark In the case that it wasn't already abundantly clear, the goblin shark is named for its, well, goblin-like appearance. As hideous as it may be to look at, however, it does manage to use its appearance to its advantage, sensing prey with its snout before grabbing its prey with its many tiny teeth. Star Eater Also known as a snaggletooth fish, the star eater is a part of the same underwater family that both the viperfish and the barbled dragonfish belong to. Sensing a theme here? This one can grow up to two feet in length, though. Gulper Eel the gulper eel is known specifically for its massive mouth, which, along with its stomach, can expand to swallow prey whole. It's able to swallow fish that are larger than itself, which is actually terrifying. Black Swallower If there were a contest for the most gluttonous sea creature in the ocean, the black swallower would take it. It can eat prey up to 10 times its size, and it swallowed fish so large that decomposition set in before digestion, causing released gas to send the black swallower to the surface. Northern Stargazer It may look pretty unassuming, as the northern stargazer spends its life hiding in the sandy sea floor, but when it comes to catching prey, this fish uses electric organs to transmit a shock to smaller fish passing overhead. Giant Isopod While it may not be considerably giant by human standards, the giant isopod is enormous relative to other species of its type. This underwater pill bug can reach up to 30 inches in length and are known for attacking fish caught in trawls. Grenadier Grenadier are one of the most abundant deep-sea fish in the world, making up about 15% of its entire population. The deepest level species have gas bladders that they use to produce sound, possibly as part of mating rituals. Barrel Eye As its name suggests, the barrel eye is known for its unique tubular eyes, which are typically pointed upwards in search of potential prey. What's even more unique about this fish, though, is the fact that those eyes are enclosed in a transparent dome. Sarcastic French Head Topping out at about 30 centimeters in length, the sarcastic French head isn't the largest sea creature out there, but it might be one of the biggest jerks. They're aggressive, and when fighting over territory, they essentially take part in a kissing battle to see whose mouth is larger.